Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today we're going to start sunflower seeds again. So like any bad relationships that we've ever had, I had to let this one go. <laughs> uh, it was a, it was a uh, dysfunctional relationship between me and the sunflower seeds uh, that were sprouting. So yeah, I dumped it, dumped them. <laughs> so uh, we're going to try it again. Um, starting out again with uh, Coca Core. So I just uh, prepared this. It's uh, pretty uh, misted down, and it's uh, you know not drenching wet, but it's it's got a, a lot of moisture in it. And I'm I'm going to go ahead and wet it down a little bit more um, just before we put some seeds down on it. So I'm going to pump this guy up here a little bit. But yeah, I was a little disappointed because I was really hoping that these uh, the sunflower seeds would have done better. I, I thought I had done a really good job with keeping everything as sterile as possible, but, but I think I may have, um, it might have been a little bit too, um, too much humidity, I think. I think I shared with you guys, I had it in this uh, rack here with the humidity going on, the humidifier going on it and stuff. So I just uh, figured that I would make a little adjustment and I'm going to go ahead and put it in this rack over here. Uh, which I can keep um, dry and, uh, you know, we'll see what that does. So, all right, so we've got the sunflower seeds here. I soaked them, um, not overnight, well, it was overnight, for 12 hours in a solution, uh, half a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide and water. And I stuck it in the refrigerator because one of the guys that I follow over at Princeton um, Microgreens, um, he's, he, he puts it in the refrigerator overnight so it stays cool because warm and humidity really promotes the growth of mold. So uh, I'm going to do that again. I did it last time, and I'm going to do it again. So I've got 125 grams of these sunflower seeds, and it basically is the last of the sunflower seed um, seeds that I have. So I'm going to see how this uh, works out this time. Uh, always a good idea. Um, I don't know how good this stuff is. I got it from work, but it is some sanitizer. So I'm just going to do my hands real good on that before I spread these guys out. I think last time I shook this thing and it made a big mess. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread them out with my hands and see what we get with that. So 125 grams in a 10 by 20. That should be plenty of coverage for these guys. And uh, like I said, I'm really hoping that it turns out better this time because I tasted some of the the shoots in this last grow and really yummy. If you guys eat sunflower seeds, it has that little bit of a taste to it, but a little bit of a kind of a radish finish. So a little bit of a, a bite to it, a little bit of spiciness to it. So really good, really good stuff. Oh, and you guys should probably know that I've, I've been working on the website um, again, through farm sites and, uh, it's coming together and it's looking pretty good. I've got the phone number. So our new phone number for our farm is going to be available to do purchases and inquiries and stuff is going to be area code 623-400-1262. And, uh, so I got to get the domain name registered. Of course, it's going to be Rakia Farms, R-A-Q-I-A. And I know, um, I'm anticipating I'll get some inquiries as well. What exactly does Rakia mean? Well, for some of you that know me real well know already where I'm going with this, but uh, I had another name for the farm, uh, but I decided to go with something a little bit more um, inquisitive, uh, inducing for people. So especially once they taste the quality of, of these microgreens and they're going to want to know a little bit more about you know, Elisa and I and, and the farm that we have here in, in our home. So, but Rakia is uh, the Hebrew word, I think Strong's 1262, which is great that Elisa chose the last four digits of, um, of that phone number because I do believe that it's Strong's 1262, which takes the word that's found in Genesis in the creation story um, of the word firmament, and you'll see it in other translations as skies, expanse, heavens, and, and so forth. Uh, inaccurate translations, um, for sure. But the word that it actually is uh, talking about is the Hebrew word rakia, R-A-Q-I-A. And that word is referring to a glass-like a glass glass -like, um, um, container um, chrysalis, 
um, that is strong. It was created by like, like how shields are beat, beaten out of, of um, steel, heated up and, and all that. So anyway, there's just, there's just a lot of stuff in the, in the Bible about Rakia. And really what it is, it's the protectant, the, the, uh, the dome firmament that protects the world uh, that God created uh, through Jesus, um, according to the Bible. So uh, just really cool, you know, I encourage you guys to look into it for yourself, especially if you're, you're Bible believers, as uh, Elise and I are people of faith. And uh, so, you know, we, we claim blessings over this tray of sunflower seeds that, the, that God's hand will be on this, this tray of sunflower seeds, that it will grow, that it will produce, and that it will bring uh, nourishment and food to bring bounty to our bodies and nourish us and bring us health, joy, peace, love, uh, and all the things that, uh, that God has and he holds us in his hand. So we ask all this in Jesus' name. So amen to that. So we've got that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and water it down just a little bit more, these seeds. And I am definitely going to top it off with another, another run of my H2O2. Hydro, uh, hydrogen peroxide because I just don't think that you could be too careful with these things. Uh, you saw, I, I thought I was really good last time, but obviously that wasn't the case. So something went wrong somewhere. So these guys have been, the trays have been, have been treated um, with my cleaning uh, vinegar. I think it's 30% vinegar solution. So I've, I've cleaned them with those. And uh, again, God's blessing on this last tray of sunflower seeds. I do. I did put an order in for some kohlrabi because Elisa likes kohlrabi, and it must be eleven o'clock because our lights turned off. Uh, Elisa likes kohlrabi, and I think I've tried it before. I think radish and uh, speckled peas. So, in addition to what we've got going on here, and I'll, I'll show you that here shortly. But uh, it would be, be really nice to have sunflu sunflower as one of the crops that, uh, you know, we can, we can grow on a regular basis. So um, I'm hoping I can figure out a plan and a solution to that. But, you know, it's in God's hands. And, you know, all I can do is do the best that I can. So I got these new. Uh, some of these are new. Some of these are just brand new cleaned. I cleaned again, soaked them in a vinegar tray um, yesterday. But uh, I was going to go ahead and put these on here, and they're going to go on this rack over here. I'm going to keep it, like I said, I don't want to keep it um, humid like I did before. So, you know, it gets a little bit of natural sunlight over here, but I've got this um, tray on here. So hopefully that's going to prevent any, any light from coming through. And again, 15-pound cement blocks just pushes everything down and really causes the root